I know Ken talked about bourgeois this and that, but Ian is from the silk socking district of the Upper East Side and pretends to be a meatball regular guy from Queens. And he's pulled it off magnificently. In poem after poem. <laughs> I'll just read a couple of more. Um, I don't know how serious or sad to be. Um, uh, here's one. Uh, I don't really have a personal life uh, when I think about it in, in poetry, uh, and even in, even in my life. But there's always, I'm always at a remove from whatever is really happening, uh, even though I, I can pretend to be deeply touched and feel things. <laughs> part, of me, part of me knows. Uh, you know, I'm not there and I've never been there. Uh, it's the changeling fantasy writ large, you know. That, uh, I, uh, but any, so, and I began as a failed fiction writer. So I, I'm, most of the poems I write, I really don't, I, are not first person. They're almost always an adap the, adapted to something. Obviously, it's something that must ring true in me in order to work. Uh, I'm not a mad Korean woman in the streets of New York, but this poem is, uh, is that part of me. Uh, and, uh, it's called Sparrow, and not really mad, I shouldn't say mad, very brilliant and lost. Uh, and again, really based on, on somebody I know, but taken to an extreme. So it's a series of, uh, it's a conversation, or an imagined conversation, mostly in the streets, called Sparrow. People are predators. They smell mother love on you just like animals, and they keep away. It protects you even as it eats you alive, the mother with claws. We're wired for distance as a species. That's how we survive. I'm not talking about copycat language of the oppressed, but the speed of language between mother child. Sparrow, sparrow, little sparrow, my mother's breasts are eyes, watching me, watching me. Father was the raven in the white night shirt. He could name anything, a conquistador in snow. His motto, navigare necesse est. Listen, this island is full of voices. They talk and talk. They put holes in each other. They fill each other with holes. They stand in pools of light, of time. They look like their fathers when they're young, like their mothers as they grow older. Wave the wand and there are pictures in the air. I remember the sea and the sky, a triangle, a pyramid beside the sea. I remember the carpenter said, a missing leg, hypotenuse. Where is the child? The child is the shepherd. Parents are sheep. The man I married was a smooth one. He took me across the waters. Feel your contradiction, he said. I need to roll my tongue before I talk to him. His voice is in my head. He won't listen to what I learned from pain. I'm not lecturing you, I said. It's not in my Buddha nature, but I know what language is. Language is an occupying army and money. Money is a gun. You cash it in for shame and sorrow. After he came back, he attacked me with anger and an army. Verbal abuse, they call it. You're no nomad, I say. You need someone to make your bed, cut your hair. You have to decide where your home is. You can't spend your whole life by fixing clocks, changing light bulbs. Why is it, I say, when men come home from the war, they can't hold their babies? We've reached a point of no return, like a black hole. Call waiting and it's his crazy brother screaming blue murder from Bellevue. And there's the doctor on the phone. I don't need this, I tell him. I'm not the closest living relative. I learned my language from conquerors, kings, a stranger child walking barefoot in snow. And last month, I missed my period. That family, they're all talking people, huffing and puffing. 
Oh, I know they won't kill me. I have friends who smile as I walk by. They say my name, Sparrow, Little Sparrow. I've been in this country, how long? 10 years? 